Hello, you guys. I'm so sorry. I was uh, typing in the instructions in the uh, side panel here and I lost track of time. You guys are so faithful. I love you all. Y'all are the best. Good morning. So uh, my early bird, Sandra, I saw her on as soon as I logged in. That was awesome. Linda, Luana, Rosie, Joyce, Michelle, Kay, you guys, y'all are so cool. All right. Um, da, 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 what was I going to say? Oh, Today's Fun Bowl Friday. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Did you all get your email yesterday? Okay. I sent out an email. Uh, stamp it. It's the first day of February. Happy February. Heart, happy Heart Month. Um, anyway, Stampin' Up has two new kits. I'm going to show you those in just a minute. And a whole bunch more celebration options to get for free when you purchase. So kind of an incentive because a lot of you have purchased a lot in January. You might want to buy just a little bit more <laughs> so you can get some, this new stuff for free. But stay in budget. Don't go over your budget. <laughs> I always tell that to my team members. Anyways, I'm just uh, loving life. Everything is great around here. I hope it is where you are also. Um, the weather here in Texas. I think we just skipped spring and went straight to summer. Uh, just a couple of days of winter. You know, that's how Texas is. No, uh, we don't kid ourselves. We, we're sure to have one more Arctic blast come through before uh, spring gets here, but we get these sunny days in between. So that's kind of cool. Awesome. Okay. Um, look, look at my notes real quick. Make sure I don't forget anything. All right. Um, we are going to do what is called a pull out fun, uh, accordion fun fold, a pull out accordion fun fold. And I want to show it to you real quick. All right. So, oh gosh, you can't see that very well. Let me back up out of the light. Woo. There we go. And so when you open it and I got this from Sharon Armstrong, so when you open it, the, the person like opens it and wants to do what? OK, I can't do it backwards. Here we go. Wants to do it like this. And um, whoa, gosh, darn it. You can't see with that glow. There we go. Um, anyways, they open it and and, they, uh, and then they pull it out and it's like um, accordion pull out. Yeah, there we go. Gosh, why is it so bright on my paper? No telling why. OK, there we go. That's good enough. <laughs> I'll show it to you better later. Um, so that is what we're making today. And I also want to tell you that the hot air balloon is the stamp bundle I chose for the February card kit. So if you guys are looking for the February card kit, um, I, because yesterday I had so much from Stampin' Up, I decided to wait till today to send out the email about the new kit. Um, however, it's also Friday, so we're doing Fun Fold Friday, and I always send an email with the um, with this whole week's video replays, and so I don't want to get that all mixed up either. So wait till the afternoon, and I'll pull out the um, the Fun Fold. Um, I'm sorry, this afternoon I will send out the email about the new card kit. This morning, as soon as we finish this Fun Fold live, I will send uh, the email with all the video replays and the downloadable because you definitely want this downloaded when you try to make this card because there's lots of measurements that you need to kind of keep up with and where all the pieces go. And so my download is going to kind of have a gr uh, graphic showing you kind of pointing to where the different pieces go. All right. With all of that said, uh, let me do the uh, share my screen here real quick. This is the new items that are in the celebration. Okay, so when you go to the celebration website to stampinup.com and you go to specials up here and you click on it, you'll come to celebration. Well, they have the, the prizes divided into two sections. One is the $50 section. One is the $100 section. That can be kind of confusing. So the new $50 options, there is um, the... Well, there's some French in here, but here's the English robot buddies that when that first came out, that was so popular. So if you liked that, you may want to uh, put in a $50 order to get that kit for free. These cards and envelopes, these are in our new catalog. You can get these for free. This designer paper, 48 12 by 12 sheets free $50 order. Um, the kids just kidding paper in the new catalog, these embossing folders. Um, and then this botanical layer stamp set, loving memories and more beside me cling stamp set. So all that's new. Let me go back real quick 
and show you the new $100 items. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm kind of on the, yeah, you should, let me uh, make this full screen so you can see better. There we go. Um, the Writing Markers, the new core color Writing Markers. The core colors are the Pecan Pie, the, um, oh gosh, I've drawn a blank, uh, Lost Lagoon, uh, Lemon Lolly, those uh, Bubble Bath. Those are all new in their new colors, but they're not the in colors. They're the new colors that will stay with us until they do another color refresh. This Dragonfly Punch is for free. You've seen the Dogwood, the Jungle Pals, and the Softly Sophisticated. So I just wanted to show you that. Then I want to show you the new kits real quick. This is the new birthday card kit. Here it is right here. Isn't that gorgeous? It is a um, unisex. It's tans and golds. Beautiful. And then this is a house happy houseplant kit. This is six by six wooden frames. And then you put together the three-dimensional little plant and hang them. It's a little uh, home decor. So I know that was kind of a lot. Um, I just wanted to uh, bring that to your attention. And then um, before we got started today. So just there we go. That's all done. Now let's get on with today's card kit. So there we go. Oh, let me zoom in a little bit so we don't have all that reflection on there. There we go. All right. So this is the card that we're making. And like I said, you open it up and it's like an accordion. I got this from Sharon Armstrong. She is my up, 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 up line. <laughs> Anyways. And if they open it like this, they see more balloons, balloons. It's just a beautiful card. This stamp set is the one that I'm featuring in my new card kit. So let me get that to show you. Okay, so these are the new cards. And like I said, this email will go out this afternoon. These are the cards that are in the card kit. All right, and you'll be able to make eight cards, two of each, and the supplies. This is the stamp set that we're talking about, hot air balloon, okay, and the dies that go with it. So the first thing we need, let me put up. Now I'm going to have the measurements down at the bottom. So I will try to, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit because I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing here. I know there's a lot going on on the screen. All right. The first thing we need is our base. Okay. And I'm going to get my cutter and we're going to do this from the start. Okay. I haven't pre-cut anything. So I have two pieces of thick card stock. The first piece I'm just going to cut in half at five and a half. Okay. This piece here is for another card later. Put that in your scrap pile or in your card pile. Uh, this needs to be scored at two and an eighth. So we come in here at two and an eighth. And if I'm going too fast or if you need questions, uh, put a question mark in front so I can see it um, as I go along and do this. Four and a quarter. Okay, there we go. Get your blade out of the way. You don't want to cut. All right, so that is scored now, okay? And it's just going to fold over, whoops, like that. And then it's going to fold back on itself like that. So that is a Z fold. That is a classic traditional Z fold. So that's one part of the base. That's not the whole base. The next part, it says AND with all capital letters there. Do you see that in the description? This is three inches by 11 inches. So there we go. This is scrap. So put that back in the cardstock pile. And this one gets scored at four and a quarter. Okay. Nope, don't cut it. Four and a quarter and eight and a half. So we need to open our blade out and go to eight and a half and score it. All right, so there we go. And it has one, two, three sections. And then this has one, two, three sections. All right, so that is our base. Put this away. Okie doke. So we've got that done. Our next set of instructions tell us to um, we're going to attach these things. So we're going to um, take this. And the smaller goes on the left, okay? The smaller piece goes on the left. And you're going to fold it in half here and then fold it back on itself here. Is that right? 
No, 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 that's not. Yeah, that's right. Double check here. Yes, because you're going to put. No, there's that's wrong. Hold on. Where's my original? Ah! Oh, I folded it wrong. Okay. Yeah. So this, I'm sorry, it needs to go this way. I was like, wait a minute, something's wrong here. Okay. Make sure that when you, uh, this is a mountain that comes out towards you. And this is a mountain that comes out towards you. And then you're going to tape them together. There we go. So then when you close it, it closes like that. Okay. Very, very uh, good that you, you catch that, that you don't accidentally do that wrong. Now, um, this is a, uh, interactive card. They're going to open and close it a lot. So you want to make sure you've got good, strong adhesive, either the stamp and seal plus or liquid glue or the tear and tape. All of those are good, strong adhesives. And now be sure you don't get too close to the edge because you want it to be able to, to um, fold close. Um, the thickness of the cardstock, I'm using thick cardstock. So it's going to add some layer it's going to add just a i mean it's microscopic but it's still there and so you need to be careful of it so that it can close properly okay like that all right and make sure it's all yeah okay everything's even everything looks good so there we go we've got that step done yay all right let me take that banner off okay um the next thing we need is some designer paper okay and i'm going to there's a lot of designer paper this is why you want to get the downloadable but the only way to get the downloadable is to be subscribed to my email to my newsletter and i'll be sending that out um, when this video is over okay so we've got this and we need some we need some paper so let's grab our designer paper and i am using the lighter than air designer paper. This is so beautiful. If you are into pastels, oh my gosh, it's bright pastels. It's so pretty. So pretty. Okay. I want the hot air balloon paper and I don't know how many pieces. I don't even think I have any more pieces in this pack. No, I don't. I've been using that, the hot air paper a lot. So, um, you get four sheets in a pack. So, and then when you, uh, when you order my kit, you'll get half a pack of it. Um, I'm looking at my scissors to open this up. Okay. But, and it comes six by six. Okay. Let me check my comments. Make sure I don't have any questions. There we go. Nope. Everybody just saying good morning. I love it. I love it. Okay. Here we go. Put that over there. Okay. So I need, um, I'm probably going to need two sheets. Let's see. We'll see. All right. I'm going to try to be conservative here. Um, yeah, I know I'm going to need two sheets. All right, where's my cutter? Put this away. Get this out. First, I need a four by five and a quarter. Okay, you see that down there? Four by five and a quarter. And um, I always, my first number when I um, write out my dimensions, my first number is always the top measurement, the this part here. Okay, so you know that the four inches and the five and a quarter is going to go down. So the four is going to go across and the five and a quarter is going to go down. And that's how you know which way to lay your paper when you're cutting it. At least that is for me. I don't know about other demonstrators, but that's how I do it. Okay, there we go. Got that one. So this is scrap. This is is ready to go in the card but this piece is my one and seven eighths it's two right now so i need one and seven eighths there we go and that you can keep as a scrap or recycle i probably will recycle that <laughs> i have enough scraps okay. and then five and a quarter all right so now we've got two of our balloon pieces. We need our third piece. Now, this piece, we want to be conservative because like I said, you don't get very many of these in a pack. So um, let me move that hand. Where are we? Two and a quarter is across and two and three quarters is down. Okay. So two and a quarter is across. All right. And then two and three quarters, which is only going to be about, it's not even going to be halfway down. Okay. Um, That'll work. Okay, so we've got two and a quarter by two and three quarters. Is that right? Yeah, two and a quarter by two and three quarters. Okay. 
Now, if you are wanting to be more conservative with this balloon paper, you may choose to use another piece of the designer paper. I just wanted the card to have a lot of balloons, like when it's closed here. I wanted, um, oh no. Oh, I put the, see, now I've just gone and messed things up. Okay, that one's correct. Oh, okay, I missed that. I went to the color design paper. Yikes. Okay, yeah, you're definitely going to want to run this off on a uh, thing so you can check. I need a four. Oh, shoot. I do believe I've done messed myself up now because this is not four anymore. This is three and three quarters. Sure is. Okay, well, we'll just pretend it's four, okay? <laughs> Two and three quarters. Oh, my gosh. I totally messed myself up. Done it. Okay, well, all right. And this this piece was a design piece, so we'll just use that. Darn, I messed that up. That's fine. <sighs> all right, so now I have these pieces. I should have put these on two separate instruction lines. Um, so four and five and a quarter four and two and three quarters and one and seven eighths and five and a quarter. Okay. Now I need color design DSP in these three. Okay. So here we go. And so this is what I'm talking about. So you're going to need one here, one here and one here. Okay. One here, one here, one here. That's for your design. So I have this stripe piece I could put here or here. That'll look fine. I can fix that. And so I have this. This, though, is going to be a little short of the four inches that goes all the way. Whoops. Sorry about that. A little short of the four inches going across, but I'm just going to make do. That's just going to be fine. I'm going to just be happy with it. And okay. All right. So let's finish cutting this paper up. Um, well, since, you know, actually, I'm going to keep this over there. And. Yeah. Is this another piece I can use? Yeah. I'm thinking I can go stripes and stripes. That'll work. That'll look cute. Okay. We're going to do stripes and stripes there, but I need um, another color here and I, I want yellow. I like this yellow. It's a pretty yellow. So let me go through my stack and find my yellow. I don't know. I've been using, I might not have any yellow left either. I do not. Okay. No biggie. We can go with how about the stripey? No, that's too much. Um, hmm, how about the blue? The blue would be pretty because it goes with the balmy blue. Oh, yeah, that'll work. All right, so we'll use a piece of the blue. So I need it one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. Okay. All right, we got that one, that one, that one. Okay, these two pieces need to be cut correctly. So the first one is two. Okay, one of them I already cut two and a quarter by two and three quarters. I think that's this one. Let me double check. Two and a quarter, yeah, by uh, three and a quarter. Okay, three and a quarter? I don't remember three and a quarter. Two and a quarter by two and three quarters. What's this one? Oh, there it is. Okay. So that's two and a quarter by two and three quarters. So that this bot this last piece is already cut. The other piece needs to be two inches by two and three quarters. So two inches. So let me come in here with my blade. Ooh, my paper's starting to shred. I need to change blades. If you all are noticing your paper shredding when you're cutting with your blade, um, and also noticing I've got a lot of gunk in here. Uh, Keep this cleaned out, okay? And then also make sure your blade, it does dull, okay? That's why uh, sewing people hate for anyone to use their sewing scissors because when you cut paper, it dulls your, your blade. I don't know why. It's, an, it's a weird thing. Two and three quarters. There we go. All right. Maybe one of you know. <laughs> Yes, it is, Michelle. It's quite a card. All right, there we go. We've got that. We've got that. We're all good there. I think we're ready to put some stuff together. 
Here we go. All right. Our first piece is the big balloon piece. All right. Right here. So let's get some adhesive. And once again, this is, and I'm going to take the, the, the banner down because it's in the way. I want you all to be able to see what I'm doing. All right. So this piece is four by five and a quarter. Just it's just a traditional uh, inside piece. OK, so we're just going to put that there. So you get lots of hot air balloons on this card. I'm trying to get it even. There we go. That looks good. All right. Then we want the colored piece here. So I'm using the blue. Okay. And that's going to cover up that seam there. Make that look pretty. There we go. Okay. Now this is, is it this one? This is this striped one that I did, so we don't waste anything. I could have used the balloon side, too, and just made this all balloons, but nah, I like to have it uh, a little interest. it make it more interesting showing all the different kinds of paper. Okay, so you've got that one on there. Then we're going to put this one here, and like I said, this one uh, I cut kind of short because uh, I wasn't cutting correctly, but that's all right. It'll still look good there. So, oh, my tape is like sticking to the tape gun here. It's getting a lot of gunk in there. All righty. That's going to go there. All right. And then finally, the other striped piece here. Yeah, and actually having balloons go across there would have been just as pretty. Yep, it would have. But like I said, I like it to have different stuff going on. There we go. Yay, almost done. Now let's, whoops. So we're going to, oh, okay. I was like, it's not closing. There we go. Um, this piece here needs to go on. All right, so. Yay. Oh, too, too close to the bottom. I'm wondering if this card is five and a half. It seems like my, I know it is because I just cut it. But. There we go. Now when you close it, you can see all that hot air balloon going on. And that's why I wanted this piece to have hot air balloon. Okay. And like I said, just because it's not four inches across, it still looks good. Are we all good with me? Let me double check comments. Make sure we don't have any questions. Make sure I'm not going too fast. All righty. Yes, Tina, it is. I love it too. It's beautiful paper. Oh, the cleaning duster can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the air, compressed air. Is that what you're talking about, Michelle? To clean your trimmer? Yes, that's good. Catherine says, wow, I love this DSP. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Okay. I don't see any questions. Let's continue. All right. Our next thing we have is blue cardstock. Okay. Um, I have not cut it yet. This is a piece of scrap and I need to pull up the measurements for you all who are writing it down. Okay. Balmy blue. And I'm cutting this at three and three quarters. So like I said, that's the, oh, yeah. Yeah, three and three quarters. I, my first number is always my long, my top. Okay, so three and three quarters. There it is right there. And then I turn it and I do the two and three quarters. There we go. Ta-da! There we go. And this piece is going to get attached right here, all right? And I'm going to use glue. So I know it won't come off. Now on Sharon, she put a piece of designer series back there and that's fine. I just decided not to. <laughs> I just decided to do it like that. <laughs> okay. Now, another thing is this designer paper would have come out a little further here. Let me show you on this card. Okay. 
So you would have seen a little bit of the designer paper here and that's fine on this card. Now it completely covers it. So, you know, maybe you do want to cut it shorter instead of four inches, whatever. All right. We're, we're done with that. We need um, some white. Now we're going to need a piece of white here and we're going to need a piece of white here. All right. So it looks like I'm going to need some more white scrap. Let me get in my scrap can. And uh, this tip, I don't know if I've told you all this tip before, but I use a five by seven uh, can recipe card can, and I just keep uh, quarter sheets of white cardstock in there and other things. <laughs> all right, now get my trimmer back out. Here we go. All right, my uh, first piece, the piece that goes on the uh, balmy blue. Okay. If you'll remember the balmy blue is three and three quarters across. So we want three and a half across. So three and a half across right there. And then it's two and three quarters tall. So I want two and a half tall there. And now this will go right there. Perfect. My next piece is for the inside and it is three and three quarters along the top. So three and three quarters along the top and two and three quarters along the side. Well, I want to strip here. So I'm going to turn mine and cut my second number first. Um, so just to conserve cardstock. All right. So there I've got a nice strip scrap and put that up there. Now I can turn it and do the three and three quarters. Okay. And now we've got the inside piece. Okay. Put all this away again. Put all of this away. Oh my goodness. I got stuff over here. Okay. That over there. Now, before I do any gluing, I need to do some stamping. Let's do some stamping. All right. So I've got, um, I've got the stamps here. So I'm going to stamp a balloon. I need some more scrap paper. Oops. Okay. And I need a littler piece of scrap paper here because I'm just going to stamp out a balloon. Is that going to be a bit wide enough? No, it's not. Is this going to be wide enough? It's not big enough. Okay, we're going to have to go with another big one. Oh, here we go. All right. Okay, and I'm using Lost Lagoon and uh, Daffodil Delight for my hot air balloon. I thought that would be pretty um, coming off of here. Okay. And uh, if, for those of you who own this stamp set and you want to know how to use it, the first piece is this large, um, the top of the balloon and the bottom of the balloon. Okay. And so whatever color you want that, I'm doing this in Lost Lagoon. Move that over. This is my scrap. All right. Oh, I'm going to make sure I get enough ink on there. And the reason we uh, breathe on our stamps like that is the moisture in our breath um, gets the ink a little moist, moister. Is that a word? More moist <laughs> there. And so you get a nice clean uh, stamp. Now, the inside of the balloon is um, I'm using the scalloped edges. There's different choices. Uh, but, oh, I want my basket this color too. Where's my basket? I want the basket in the Lost Lagoon. So I'm going to put the basket right there. Okay. Let's put my Lost Lagoon away. And now get out my Daffodil Delight. I know it's really Lemon Lolly in the page, but the Lemon Lolly is so light. Um, I thought Daffodil Delight might look better. We're going to check though. I'm going to use this scrap here and see if I like it. Okay. Hmm. Nope. I think maybe we do need to go with the lemon lolly. All right, let me grab it. Where did I put it? Here it is. Okay, so we have different colors of yellow, if you didn't know. We have all kinds of colors. Okay, and I need to clean my stamp off. Where's my stamp cleaner? I know I have it. There it is. Okay, make sure I'm not missing any questions. Okay. Kay says, I'm going to have to get this. Well, Kay, remember, this is also the uh, stamp set that goes with this month's kit, because I know you like ordering the kits. And. Okay, there we go. Let's see how that looks. 
And I just love that you can see through. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that pretty? I love that. All right, let's put that away. Did that good. Um, the dies just match on there really beautifully, really easy. So we get that die. Whoops, move back over. Okay. Try to keep it still. Okay, and even the little basket has a die, a wee baby die. <laughs> there we go. All righty, and do I need to cut out anything else? Oh, yes, I want some balloons cut from the balmy blue, the balmy blue. Okay, and so I'm going to cut out a couple of, of uh, not balloons, I'm sorry, clouds. All right, so there we go. Let's take this to the cutter. Oh. Yeah. All right. Now we have our hot air balloon. Awesome. Okay, and I can take this banner off of there so you all can see better. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Oops, come on. Beautiful. Okay, so we have two little clouds. And a hot air balloon and the cute little basket. There. Yay. And there's some scrap. My cutting plate, put that back. Okay. Now, um, make sure I've got this right now. So this is my inside piece. This is my outside piece. I'm going to use basic black. Oh, that stays on. I don't want stays on. I want mementos. I could have used stays on, but it's so, yeah, it stains everything so much. I try not to use it unless I need it. <laughs> okay. Uh, big wish. I'm kind of doing it like it's floating up. Oh, no. I got a mark on my card. Let's do that over. My hands all dirty? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's better. And the sentiment, what's my sentiment? My sentiment is up, up and away. Hooray, it's your birthday. <laughs> and then you open it up, it says wish big. Okay, so I'm just put that there. Perfect. Well, hello, Joan. There we go. Uh, Joyce says, do you wash your stamp cleaner pad? I sure do, Joyce. Um, I, well, I rinse it out all the time. And occasionally I will actually wash it with soap and water um, in the sink. But as some people put it in the washing machine. You can do that. You can put it. But remember, it does have ink in it. So you don't want it to the ink to get on anything else in your washing machine. Um, but I just wash it and let it dry. Um, and I keep it in the case while I'm working so it'll stay moist. Good question. All right, let's finish putting this together. So I want my clouds. We're almost done here. So don't forget, uh, for those of you who did, uh, missed the beginning of the video, I was showing everybody we have two new kits in our kits collection, a birthday kit that is unisex. It's uh, gold, tan, uh, white, and then... Um, the other kit is a home decor kit with four six by six wooden frames that you put that you put together uh, three dimensional plants. That's so popular right now in home decor, uh, decorating with pictures of plants. So those are the two new kits. And then also we have a whole bunch of new celebration items. So if you have not finished getting everything you want out of the catalog, you can still get more celebration items. All right, now I'm going to put my hot air balloon on with dimensionals, of course. So let me do that. One, two, and three. 
Um, my basket, I'm going to use a mini dimensional. If you don't have mini dimensionals, just cut your big dimensional in half. Well, I had my mini dimensionals. Where'd they go? Here they are. <laughs> my tweezers. There we go. And that just fits in there perfectly. Okay. Now, uh, wait a minute. Let's put this on the card first. There we go. Bring the card back out here. There we go. Center that. That way we uh, our hot air balloon doesn't go off the edge of the card and it'll still fit in the envelope. Okay, here we go. So I want, I want it to kind of come as much over, tilted. I like it when hot air balloons are tilted. Kind of looks like the wind is blowing them. And then the basket um, kind of stays down straight. Not too down straight or it looks weird. It's kind of tilted too, but not as much. And it'll really look like the wind is taking your balloon away. Whoosh. <laughs> I love that. Okay. So there's the front of the card. And then, of course, you can put some bling on there and stuff. And then they open it and you need a place to put the message. So put this one in here. Wish big. Yay. And we have just created the pull out accordion card. I don't know if that's what it's called. That's what I call it. It's so hard to name fun folds. Um, but if you just call it a fun fold, then people are like, well, what kind of, there's hundreds of fun folds out there. So I try to try to describe it the best I can. So it's a, it's like a pull out accordion. Okay. And of course it sits like this on the table. So when they look at it, they see it like that. Isn't that neat? I love that. Okay, so don't forget, I am going to have, um, first of all, you can go to the blog and you can see the instructions there, or if you want to print out the instructions, I will be sending out an email with a downloadable PDF tutorial that you can print off. So either way, or you can just re-watch this video and pause it and write down um, the dimensions uh, from the screen. So you got all kinds of choices. All right, this has been fun. I know it took a little longer uh, than most cards. It had a lot of pieces, but it sure is a fun card to make. And of course, it's you could do anything. You can make a really pretty Valentine's card with this, or um, what are some of our other, that jungle paper, oh, I mean, the jungle pals uh, guys, they would be really cute on here. Anything would be cute, but anyways. Okay. Um, oh, Sharon, uh, you saw Sharon demonstrate it. All right. Well, yes, I did get it from Sharon. And uh, so good luck. OK, we will uh, see you for Monday night stamping. You all have a blessed and wonderful weekend. And make sure I didn't miss any questions. Well, we'll I always forget that part. I get so excited. No, nope, no questions. OK, you guys, you all have a blessed weekend. Bye bye.